Hi all, in this one, let's take a look at answering these two questions. These are from the 1997 AP Calculus BC Multiple Choice section. So here's the first one. You want to find the value of this integral from 0 to 1 square root of x multiplying x plus 1. To work this out, let's proceed as follows. Definite integral. And then first you want to rewrite this for yourself as follows. Remember it's x and the square root, so you're going to distribute it to the parts of x plus 1. So it's going to be therefore x raised to the following. It's 1 half plus 1. So hopefully you know by now that that's basically three halves this way. And the same thing with the next one, it just becomes x to the one half and then dx. Let me move this down a little bit so you can see it better. And then from here, you're going to need to differentiate. So you're going to add one to the three halves. When you do that, it's going to be three halves plus one. And the convenient form of one is then two halves. So it's going to be three halves plus two halves. Three plus two is five. And the bottom you put a two. You would put this over the same five halves plus, and the next one then would be the following. 1 half plus 1, which conveniently here would be 1 half plus 2 over 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. And you copy the 2 in the bottom. And then here you would have the following then. 3 halves, and this would be evaluated between 1 and 0. Next stage. Notice that when you replace x with 0, those terms will vanish. And only, only the ones that contain 1 will be left over. And of course that 5 halves in the bottom becomes 2 fifths. So in other words, you end up with 2 fifths of basically the following, 1 raised to the 5 halves and then plus. And the second term is the following, the 3 halves in the bottom becomes 2 thirds. And then x to the 3 halves that becomes 1 to the 3 halves. The other two terms with x vanish. So this basically becomes 2 fifths and then plus 2, two thirds. Because 1 to the 5 halves is 1 and 1 to the 3 halves is 1. Give this a common denominator. So you can multiply 2 fifths by 3, which will give you then 6 fifteenths. And then you can add to it 2 thirds converted to fifteenths. So 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, which means that this is 16 fifteenths. In other words, the answer is choice C right here. Look at the next one. If x is defined as e to the 2t and y is sine of 2t, then dy dx equals something. Now remember, these are parametric equations. So in this case, dy dx is defined as the following dy dt divided by dx dt. In our case, that means the following. dy dt, you would differentiate with respect to t, sine of 2t. And in the bottom, you would differentiate with respect to t, e to the 2t, this way. Work these out. In the top, you have to use the chain rule. Cosine of 2t, the derivative of sine is cosine copy the inside 2t, multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is just 2. In the bottom, you're going to have to use the chain rule, so it's e to the 2t. Multiply by the derivative of the exponent, which is just 2. And naturally, you see the 2's cancel, and you have a nice expression left over. Cosine of 2t divided by e raised to the 2t, which means that the correct choice test would have been here, e. And that is it. So, if it's been helpful, friends, please leave a like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.